This are the most powerful combo that you can use in plants versus zombies too. I want to include the combos that I used in my past video, which is this one. So don't be angry if reinforcement and blubber isn't included in this list. There are too many plant combination that you can try like walnut plus spikeweed or magnet shroom plus bong choy. But in this video we'll be talking about the most powerful combo, yeah it's P-O-W-E-R-F-U-L, powerful. So upon testing and gathering information I came up with 10 different combos that I'll be sharing with you. Before we start, the YouTube manager asks you to subscribe. It's free and it will help me a lot. Number 1. As in the latest update we can actually use time warp, gold leaf, hot potato, and perfume shroom or the exclusive plants in another world. With that being said we can now abuse time warp. Well Time Warp is one of the most unique plant in the game as it can teleport the zombies in ninth column of the lawn. One plant that I can think of that can utilize the potential of this plant is Puffball. After planting Time Warp the zombies will stack up in one place, just plant a Puffball. So all the zombies can be poisoned. This is effective if there is a lot of zombies in the lawn, cause it can easily clear a whole lawn by just doing this combo. Just be mindful that the zombies that can withstand poison like Gargantua Zombie will not be affected by this combo. Number 2. Now talking about Gargantua that can withstand poison. Another combo that nobody talk about is Tumbleweed plus Blubber. Tumbleweed, with its unique ability to knock up zombies. It's a really good choice to pick Blubber, because of Tumbleweed's ability to knock up zombies Blubber can blow away that zombie. This is effective against the high health zombies such as Gargantua zombies and the zombie mechs. This is also effective against a crown of zombie, because Tumbleweed can bounce to different zombies and instantly killing all the zombie it hits by the help of Blubber. The only downside of this combo is, if the zombies can't knee knock up. As Blubber cannot blow it. Fun fact, Tumbleweed is able to be planted anywhere, even on top of already occupied tiles. Number 3. As mentioned in number 1, about Time Warp that can be used in another world, one plant that I can also think of that is best to pair with this plant is none other than Spearmint. You see, Spearmint can spawn two lanes of spike rock at the last column of the lawn. Planting Time Warp can stack up all the zombies in one spot, and by just planting Spearmint, it can easily deal with all the zombies on top of it. Not only can spike rock damage the zombies, but it is also boosted by Spearmint, multiplying the damage dealt to zombies. This combo is good for the crowd of zombies, as the zombies can easily be killed by spike rock. The only disadvantage of this is when there is a zombie that can get rid of spike rock, like Gargantua zombies. Number 4. Shinevine can maximize the sun production of the enlightenment plants if it's planted on top of it. Shinevine can also damage zombies if the zombie's close enough. After damaging the zombie, it can produce little suns and stun it for a short time. Even though Shine Mind can damage zombies, its defense is not enough to make a good use of its offense. So one plant that is best to pair with this plant is Bramble Bush. As Bramble Bush can immobilize the zombie. Planting it on top of Shine Vine can be a good idea. Because while Bramblebush is damaging the zombie Shine Bind can also produce suns from it. It is only a good pick if there is a lot of tough zombies in a level. It is not suitable for the level that only have a low health zombies. If you're finding a good use of Gargantua's zombies toughness, well now you got one. Number 5. 
while most of the plants are good if you pair it with tile turnip, as it can multiply the plant food it can give. Just imagine a one column of primal sunflower with tile turnip, feed with plant food it can literally produce a lot of suns. There is also a plant that only needed two tile turnip to be effective. And that is impure. Well if it feed with plant food it can turn the zombies to imp, then the other tile turnip triggers, so the other impure can kill that imp. Just make sure that your impure is high level, cause a level 1 impure can only transform 5 zombies when feed with plant food. The only counter for this one is the zombies that cannot be affected by magic like Medusa zombie. Number 6. This combo is commonly abused in the arena. Can you guess what plants I'm thinking? It'll give you 5 seconds to guess what combo it is, starting now. Well it's Mega Gatling P plus Peabine plus Torchwood. I've seen too many people using this in arena and got high scores. Simply plant Megatling P at the back then plant a Torchwood in front of it, then plant a Peabine on top of Torchwood. Even though Mega Gatling P is not boosted by Peabine, the projectile can also have the Peabine boost. This combo is good if your plant is high level, because a max level Peabine and Torchwood can two-shot a normal Gargantua. The only disadvantage of this combo is Excavator and Jester Zombie, and don't forget the zombie that can withstand fire, the Imp Dragon Zombie. Number 7. One of the most underrated plant that I can think of is Ice Weed. I mean nobody talk about this plant at all, as if it doesn't exist in this game. I have a plant to pair with Ice Weed. I don't know if this is a good combo or not. Primal Pea Shooter, this combo is good for stalling zombies, as the Ice Weeds can slow zombies and Primal Pea Shooter can push back or stun zombies. If it's still not enough you can also add Shard Guard so if the zombie get close it can be pushed back to Ice Weed. The advantage of this combo is, you can save suns to buy expensive plants like Banana Luncher or Coconut Cannon. And it is good to the crowd of zombie. Because of the slow effect they share. Number 8. With this next combo you can cover the offense and defense pretty easy. Since by just having reinforcement, the damage and the protection is no longer a worry for you. Since the fact that this mint can boost its family plants by activating their plant food abilities. Combining it with peanut is a good option. While a plant food of peanut can damage the zombie plus strengthen its defense. Peanut is basically a pea shooter and walnut that is combined in a single plant. With that being said we can eventually make the hard levels into an easy thing. Not to mention the only downside of this combo are, as always, Jester and Excavator Zombie. As they can block or reflect its projectile. With that, you might as well call Cherry Bomb for help. Number 9. If you're a new to this game, then this combo is for you, since you only need the adventure plant for this combo. Well if you want to win a level it's better to use the crowd control plants. Like Primal Pea Shooter and Colonel Pult. See if you combine this two plant it can immobilize the zombie. The buttered zombie can be pushed back by Primal Pea Shooter making a good synergy. It's just a combination of stun and push. So if you want a cost efficient combo you may also try this one. With just a 275 suns you can make yourself a zombie killing machine. Since you can deal with Gargantua Zombie by using this. Be sure that the Colonel Pult throw a butter, cause a low level Colonel only have a 25% of lunching a butter. So you better bring a lucky charm for this one. Number 10. If you got Draftedil in Draftedil's defensive arena season, then you got access to this combo. The other plant you need is Shrinking Violet, that is accessible in the store for 100 gem. You better not spend your gem buying pinatas for seed packets. Well Draftedil has a chance to instantly remove tiny zombies. With that Shrinking Violet is absolutely a great pick. 
as it can blow out tiny zombies, including Gargantua Zombie. Yep, any zombie that is shrunken can be one shot by Draftadil. Draftadil is also a good counter against imp zombies, as it can be one shot by it, because imps are considered to be shrunken zombies. It's better to use plant food on Shrinking Violet to shrunk all the zombies on the lawn. Then Draftadil can kill them all at ease. Yeah, it's. Then that is all for today's video, thank you for watching, and see you on the next one.